OK, so do you, with, you understand what's going on, yes? Sure, yeah. yeah you've got four in, yes. plus six is ten. Yes. Now I want five. Yeah, One right of those good. five is for the food critic. Good yes, girl, sir. let's go. Get rid of the fat in there, please, yeah? Yeah. Let's go, in the oven. Venison's not just for posh people like Giles. You can buy it in supermarkets, so go on, try it at home. A lot of people get a little bit worried about venison because they think it's sort of very gamey and very strong, but it's not. Salt, pepper, hot pan, olive oil, seal. Butter, base, butter paper. It protects the venison, keeps it really nice and moist. Nothing's drying out. They are the perfect chef's blanket. Hot oven, eight minutes. Red wine, chocolate sauce. Pancetta, shallot, garlic. Be quite generous with the black peppercorns because we need to wake the sauce up a bit. Thyme, bay leaf. 350 mils, red wine. The red wine gives it body, texture, and a real nice depth of flavour. Reduce. 350 mils, brown chicken stock. Reduce. Quite beautiful. Sieve. Then a little dash of raspberry vinegar. Dark chocolate. Delicious sauce. Mm. Don't slice it too thin. Slightly pink in the centre. Loin of venison with red wine chocolate sauce. Done. The combination of chocolate and red wine may sound a little bit weird, but they really do go well together. And it's very rich, so you don't need a lot of it. When grating the chocolate into the sauce, whisk it in gently, but be sure not to boil the sauce. Otherwise, there's a possibility that it will curdle. If it does start to curdle, then change pans quickly into a cold pan to bring the sauce back together. OK, with the venison, we're going to serve a cream cabbage, yes? Yes, sir. OK, so it's cabbage with celeriac, carrots yep. and pancetta. And the celeriac gives it a little bit of sort of... You know, it makes it sort of taste almost like the garden. You know, it's a root vegetable, yep. it's grown underneath, it doesn't see any sort of daylight, so it's all underground. So the flavour is extraordinary, yeah? OK? The vegetables and pancetta need brisk frying for four to five minutes before adding the cream. And we go around the outside oh. of the pan. OK, all the way around. So by the time it hits the centre, uh -huh. yeah, it's all nice and thick. That is a dish on its own, let alone the venison to go on top. Into your bowl. Creamy winter cabbage with slerac. OK? Good. OK, Angie, six venison here. Stozy, six on there, please, yes? After that, you're followed by four, yes? Sauce, please. That's nicely cooked there, Ange. Nice and pink. Sauce, please. Come on, Russell, automatic now. Come on. Think about it, come on. Go, please. 